Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but today I want to be checking out this little mini Lenovo system. It is an Athlon Pro chip inside, and it is a ThinkCenter M75Q-1. Now, I've heard of the M75Q-1. I was like, what? What's that about? Anyways, there's a particular Athlon series unit. This thing has four cores. A nice video card, a reasonable video card, and all kinds of inputs on the back. This actually has an HDMI input on the back. Usually these mini systems don't have that. So let's take a quick look at what the power it's got. Okay, so I got 8 gigs of RAM, only 5.93 gigabytes usable. Don't know what's up with that. For the display adapter, we got an AMD Radeon Vega 3 graphics and AMD Athlon Pro 300 GE uh, for the processor. Let's take a look at the benchmark first off. Of course I'll come back when uh, the video benchmark happens and then I'll jump to the end mark. Alright, let's start out with the jet planes. 20 frames per second. Okay, honestly, I do not see marks this high even with a uh, low-end video card. So, so far so good, right? I think it should be said that this particular unit comes with an M2 card and it only has 190 some gigabytes so I had to install an SSD. I installed a mini SSD next to it and that's where I'm installing uh, Grand Theft Auto 5. Only 5 frames per second here being penalized 17% and that's 5 frames per second. Okay, still doesn't look too bad. Next up DirectX 11 we're getting 25 frames per second, not bad, penalized by 18, because I can't run at 1080. Man, I really need to throw down and get a 1080 monitor for these tests. But the jellyfish are looking good. And everything's running pretty smoothly, can't complain. And here we're coming out of Light Space Direct X12. Not too bad. I'm definitely seeing some hiccups here and there. I mean, I'm definitely seeing some little stutters here and there, but I really got to look. Now, here's a test that I don't normally add to these, but this one's not going too hot on that gamer graphic. As you can see, we have a benchmark of over 2,000, and this is close to a Surface Pro uh, Lenovo i7X230 with 8 gigabyte SS, uh, RAM and SSD, or a T480 with a hard disk drive. I, you know, I kind of thought I'd get a better mark than that, but still, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad, actually, it's pretty good for uh, the price point. But anyways, let's take this out in the arena. Let's put some games on this bad boy and see how it actually runs. All right, so Grand Theft Auto doesn't play too bad. It's full screen, a little bit choppy. All right, guys, get in there and make me some pizza. Yeah, it is a little bit choppy. You can see around the edges, but at the same time, this is full screen. Everything is very, uh, everything is very responsive. I like it. It could be better. It could be better. It's kind of jagged, but still not bad. So yeah, we got some choppy graphics, but we don't got any lag. I definitely would ha rather have choppy graphics than lags. And here we have Girl Scouts trying to give us cookies again. Got to make sure that uh, we don't let them around here. Get out of here, you silly Girl Scouts. Okay, so last up, let's have a good clean look at it. We got USB, one USB on the front, which is a little bit different. I don't see that so much. We got USB-C, headset, and microphone, power button, of course. Nothing on the side really, but on the back we have uh, the, the Ethernet, USB, 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 HDMI. I don't see HDMI on these things very much. You got display, display. The fact that this thing can push out three displays at once is pretty cool. We got the screw right there. We take that thing out and we'll see what's on the inside. Okay, so once you get that screw off, once you get that screw out, just push it back like that. Here we go. You can see the giant fan that we got, autofocus, yeah, giant fan, giant heat sink. So this thing definitely puts off a lot of heat, it looks like, but I don't notice it. Anyways, here's a secondary drive that I put in there because I wanted to install Grand Theft Auto. We have a mini, what is that, an MNFF or something like that, um, Wi-Fi card. And yeah, so there's not really like a whole lot to see here. There's not a whole lot going on. 
autofocus. And then our regular hard drive is on the other side. One second, let me put this back. Nicely, clip, clip, I like how nicely it sits in there. And then this piece comes back. Oh, we got room for another, um, we got room for another mini hard drive. Jesus, it does have a mini hard drive in there. Check that out. And more RAM. We've got room for more RAM, too. That is a mini NVMe. I've never seen one that small in hand. That's interesting. Makes sense to put it in this one, though. And then <clears throat> DDR4 RAM. But anyways, yeah, not a bad unit. Actually, I think it's at end of life. So the only reason I really did this for you is because I really wanted to. Uh, but still, really cool, really nice, relatively powerful. Oh, look at the cute. Look at the super cute. Look how cute. That's the speaker. Oh, you're so cute. Got the power button. We're missing the button over here that I never figured out what it did. I think it was just to say if the case was open or shut. But yeah, not so bad, not so bad. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me, Neff from Neff's Type. Bet select and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. And as always, folks, take care of each other, right? Have a good one.